Which one was your favorite razor? So I think the favorite, I had a top two, uh, but my favorite was... Which razor was your favorite razor? My favorite razor out of all of them was that. Then to the next question. What was your favorite razor? So I was shocked because I know you were like, uh-uh, but um, I like... Okay, to the big question. What was your favorite razor? Good question. So out of all of the razors that, that you sent in the experiment, um, the favorite one? I spent exactly $338.99 to answer a question. A question that if you're a guy that shaves, you probably are going to want to know the answer to. This is the story of how I spent that cash. Let's go. Okay, so what the heck is going on here? No, it's not some crazy razor hoarding fetish, but I do have a question. And that is, what is the best average price razor for the average guy? What is the best in performance and value? Truth is, I don't know the answer to that question, but I do have an idea for how we can get a little bit closer to that answer in this video. And these razors are part of that. How are we gonna do this, you may ask? Well, including myself, we have a total of five guys, each of which was originally to receive five razors. But for reasons we'll discuss later, we ended up upping that amount to six. Each guy was asked to shave with each razor at least twice over a three to four week time span, and then to begin eliminating the razors that they didn't like until they could figure out which razor that they liked best. Afterwards, they were asked to rank each razor one through six. Then we would assign a point value to each razor, which each participant's favorite being assigned a value of five, whereas their sixth place finisher would be assigned a value of zero. As a result, there would be a max score possible of 25, whereas the minimal possible score would be a zero. And our winner would be the razor that had the highest point value. Well, before we see how all of this plays out, there's something that was pretty important to the process that we need to discuss first. That's funny you say that because when you're looking at razors as a consumer, you're going, okay, I don't want the most expensive one. I don't want the cheapest one, right? You're always trying to find the, the one that's going to get you a good shave somewhere in between. At least that's what I do. It's interesting. I, I've gotten several different razors over the years, and but I haven't used half of these. So it was, it was really kind of neat to try something new every couple days. Um, I learned a lot about uh, just the new technology with these razors and the quality and even just all the different sizes and feels that are out there. Um, so I thought it was a really cool experiment. I also um, realized that over the years I learned a lot about my face and what it likes and what it doesn't like. The experience was, I thought it was pretty cool. Like, I don't really think I've seen a whole lot of forums where you got a bunch of fellas kind of getting together and talking about skincare or any type of, you know, self-care. Appreciate you going ahead and sponsoring it. <laughs> welcome to Fitness and Beer. I'm Larry Powell and welcome back to the lab. I'm super excited because we have another one of our super scientific experiments happening today. If you're a guy and you're in the market for a new shaving razor, the search results can be overwhelming because you're presented with so many different options. And I knew that if I was gonna make a useful video, one of the first things that I had to do was come up with a method to narrow down the field. And it was really important to me to figure out what the average guy would have to choose from. So here's what I came up with. I ran 10 different searches and I ran them all from different devices and within different profiles because I wanted to make sure that no algorithm would pin the search results to me. Hello. And of course, we had to make sure at least one of our searches took place in store. I wanted a broader scope. Each time I listed those search results from one to 10 and the top five would be the razors that we would survey in our competition. By far and away, our top five search results all belong to one company and that company would be Gillette. And as a result of that, because I wanted to make sure that I had a wider range of competition, instead of just surveying five razors, we upped it to six. So the razors that we're gonna look at in descending order from most expensive to least expensive 
are the Gillette Labs Razor with exfoliating bar, the Gillette Fusion 5, the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide, a Harry's Razor, Bic Hybrid 5, and lastly, the Chic Quattro, which will be our only four blade razor competing. Once we narrowed down the search results, I knew that the next step was I would need data. And obviously I would need more opinions than just mine, so. Okay, so we're cruising around the neighborhood about to deliver the second set of razors. And when I was at the house, I didn't have like a good bag to put them in. And so look how we're rolling. And one container is as good as the next. And yes, that is an Oktoberfest case in March. How cool is that? Hey, What's up, dude? Oh yeah. All right. Oh. Hey. <laughs> there you go. There you go, <laughs> Thank my you, man. yeah. No, I don't want that. <laughs> there you go, my man. So this first shave, I'm gonna do my right side of my face with Harry's. Never heard of it. I'm intrigued. And then I'll do Gillette for the other side. So the results are in, but before we get to that and to each guy's favorite razor, take a look at this list. It's a list of the cartridges and their price per razor. Let it sink in for a second, because in the end, I think the results may surprise you. Now, let's talk about the guys that participated in this experiment. I thought that we had a nice cross section of participants. I mean, we had full face shavers, we had beard shavers, we even had a head shaver and we represented multiple different races. I know that we couldn't get to everybody, but hopefully we got to a good enough cross section that we can get a good idea of what the average guy might think. And I do want to talk about, there is one omission that I do regret, and that is that I didn't have a representative from Dollar Shave Club. I do regret that. I wish I had had one less Gillette and represented Dollar Shave Club just to have an even larger cross section. But let's get on to what the guys think. So I think the favorite, I had a top two, uh, but my favorite was the Chic Quattro. And number two was the Gillette, uh, the one with the exfoliating. I don't know the name of it. <laughs> um, the favorite one was this particular model right here from Gillette. It's a Fusion Razor. Um, this one here, uh, I don't think it was the most expensive. I, I don't think it was the cheapest, but it was a five blade system and it's, uh, it's a Fusion. To me, this one really hit the mark for all the ways that I like to shave. I liked Harry's. So first of all, I, I use Harry's and Gillette, uh, the big green box, whatever one that it, that one is, uh, the Pro Lab or whatever with the exfoliating, Gillette lab. yeah, with the exfoliating bar, you know, whatever, you know. Uh, that was my first shave, and that was my longest hair, and so they that those two really got the test first, because so, all of them have a ball, right? They all got a ball, which which rotates the head, but Harry's has a rubber flex and to me that was more it stuck with the the contours of your face better my favorite razor of all of them was the quattro uh the chic quattro so it had four four blades and one on the top nice nice white handle the close second was the harry's razor for the same reason it just felt like it had a smaller head size and it also had a little top uh a fine cleaning for the, the the giving me nice clean on the edges on the bottoms so what was my favorite razor? Well, my favorite razor was actually the Gillette Labs with exfoliating bar. If I'm looking at a razor ex explicitly for comfort and efficiency, I just thought that it was best. However, it was followed up very closely by the Chic Quattro Titanium, which I also liked a lot. And the two razors couldn't be more different. So one of us has had a little bit of a change in heart. Hey man, yeah, I think I, I think I may. Uh, I, I found myself shaving with the Gillette over the last 
uh, week, week and a half, I'm, I'm, I may be converted. Who was the winner of our competition? Well, take a look at this list right here and you see that the winner of our competition was the Schick Quattro Titanium. And the runner up in the competition was the Gillette Labs with exfoliating bar. Now, this is surprising to me considering the price point of both razors. However, the thing that's even more surprising to me is take a look at the point differential. And the Chic Quattro came in at 20 and no guy ranked it lower than three. As a matter of fact, three was the lowest ranking that it had between all five guys where the Gillette Labs falls in with a score of 15. And then after that, the scoring gets much more jumbled up. And the razor that ends up in the caboose spot is the big Flex 5 hybrid, which personally, I didn't think was a bad shave at all. I learned it's just like anything else, man. I learned that it's all about marketing. That's what I learned. Uh, but a lot of it is really marketing, you know. Uh, they really know how to market, making certain things seem like it is just so much better than uh, your, your basics. Like, I don't know if you remember stuff like this. I think probably that that uh, Gillette one <laughs> in the in the fancy box. It was a nice packaging. It's got it. It feels more premium than the other ones. It's got like a little heft to it. Like we were talking about the whole like you know the Gillette. You got to have this huge box with this like you know, glamorous, whatever. It's like, yo, man, just give me a razor. So I recognize that a survey of only five guys may not be enough to hold any scientific merit, but I do think it's enough to make you think, to think about whether or not you're getting value or if you're maybe getting packaging in a name. Just a little food for thought. Hey, what is your favorite razor? And was your favorite razor in this competition? Let me know your thought. And remember, always keep it positive because we're here to help each other out. So if you've made it to this point in the video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. Even better, hit that subscribe. We'll have some more razor stuff, some more resort reviews coming up real soon. Big ups and thanks to the guys that participated in this experiment. Thanks for taking the time. This video wouldn't have been possible without you. And also thank you for watching. Till next time, fitness and beer.